Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you will hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So currently, right now, it is March in the year 2020, and we are in the middle of a big pandemic. And so toilet paper is at a total premium right now, which sort of prompted this tutorial. So I don't wanna make light of the situation or comment on it at all, but it definitely is the inspiration behind this project. And no matter how you feel about the situation, we all definitely need toilet paper. And if you're like me, you like to display it in a really nice way as well or you like to hide it well I hope today I'm gonna to bring you a tutorial that is a little bit different and unique and is a very very simple build as well so if you're new to woodworking this one is definitely a great one for beginners this is also a really inexpensive project as well so make sure to stay tuned to the end where I'll share with you the total cost so let's go ahead and get started and jump right into this DIY and now for supplies so what I have here is a one by six by six foot long piece of common board or pine. I have some toilet paper rolls here so I can use it to size and make sure I make everything scale and fit our toilet paper so it's functional in the end. I have a five eighths inch size dowel rod. I also picked up some of these candle cups. They are one and three eighths by one and nine sixteenths inch size. From Hobby Lobby, I thought they would make really neat looking feet. So that's the idea behind those. I also have a pencil and a ruler so I can start measuring things out and cutting it down. So as, as I go through this tutorial, I'll make sure to insert sizes and all of that. So the first thing I did was cut down the sides. So I squared off the end of my one by six board before cutting two pieces down to 24 inches long. Next is the part when I used those toilet paper rolls that we usually use as a guide for size. So I used those, sandwiched them into the side pieces before measuring the outside from outside to outside and determining that I needed two more pieces cut down from the one by six at six and a half inches long each and those are going to be the top and bottom pieces. Now I'm going to be using my orbital sander and 80 grit sandpaper to sand both sides and the top and bottom pieces. Then I moved on to figuring out how far down I needed to drill holes for my toilet paper roll that was going to be hanging. So I just set up the box as if it were put together already and then stacked the toilet paper to figure out about how far down I could measure before adding the marks for the holes. So after I had this all set up, I measured down four and a half inches and used a hole saw, the smallest one I had, which was probably about one and a half inches wide my dowel rod is only 5 8 inches so if you have a smaller drill bit or hole saw I would highly recommend using something smaller but I used what I had on hand I also measured in from the sides to make sure that the holes would be centered within those 1 by 6s made a mark and then drilled down with my hole saw down through the wood. I had to flip it over halfway to make sure I could get the hole all the way through the board. I added holes to both boards and then I hit it with the sander one more time to smooth out those holes. I'm gonna be using a small drill bit to drill pilot holes in through the top and into the sides using one and five eighths inch wood screws to attach all the sides and pieces together. You could use a Craig jig for this if you have one on hand. I sort of wanted something a little bit more rustic looking. I didn't really mind the screws showing once it was all put together. So this is the method that I used. And I just drilled a hole and then put a screw in. I didn't tighten it down all the way. That way I could kind of make sure everything lined up nicely. And then once it was together, I I tighten those screws up all the way. Mm -hmm. 
Once I had the top on tightly, I flipped it over and repeated the process for the bottom. So basically, I've just built a big rectangle with holes in the sides here. Very, very simple, basic, and easy. And now I just need to cut down my dowel rod. I measured the outsides and determined that an eight inch long piece of dowel rod would be sufficient to add to this piece. So I just took that over to the saw, cut it down, sanded it so it was nice and smooth and then I was able to move on to finishing the piece. So I'm gonna be using a water-based wood stain. This is Verathane in the color Briar Smoke. It's a beautiful gray and brownish color. I have some nitrile gloves and a staining cloth I'll be using to apply the wood stain. The great thing about water-based wood stain is that it only takes about one hour to dry. I did allow all of the pieces to sit and dry for an hour before I added the feet onto the bottom. And I just used some super glue to apply them. It grabs on super quick and dries fast and it has a super tight bond. This whole project cost less than $15. So like I said, very inexpensive, a very simple basic project. And in the end, you end up with a beautiful piece of furniture for your bathroom. Thank you all so, so much for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope you all are staying safe out there. And I hope today I have brought you some inspiration on how to store our coveted toilet paper. Please take a second to give this video a thumbs up for me and you can click the subscribe button next to me if you haven't already. I'll have more great DIYs linked below that that you'll wanna check out. And come find me on Facebook and on Instagram for even more inspiration. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.